Rockin' and Rollin' on page 39. This is a terrific piece for students to not only read from left to right, going over and through the bar lines without stopping, but also a great piece for students to kind of zigzag from the bass clef to the treble clef, back to the bass clef, and up to the treble clef, right? So they're their eyes always have to be constantly moving forward, but also up and down. So the practice steps are tap and count out loud. One, two, three, four. 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 We always must have our students count energetically in such a lively, invigorating way. Always giving each note value its full value. The rhythm is paramount to all good musical playing, so we must make sure our students understand and internalize the rhythm before they play any piece. So once they have tapped out the entire piece, you know, actually, <laughs> that third line is really fun because there are crossovers. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, like that. Then it says play, the, uh, play all the thirds. Okay, so let's have our students play all of these thirds. They don't have to repeat them. They can just play them once. You could ask them, how does it feel to play each different third? Uh, yeah, it feels like I'm transferring my weight a little bit more towards my fifth finger here. Then I transfer my weight towards my thumb. Feels really comfortable. And now the weight is in the middle of my arm and my wrist and my hand and my third finger. Play the third line three times. Let's have our students play at a thinking tempo so they can get 100% accuracy of notes, fingering, rhythm, and articulations. Many of our students are gonna play on the side of their thumb like this. try to play it's not going to be a good sound right so let's make sure we remind them to play on that outside tip of their thumb see that nice natural C between fingers one and two and their four little hills which are their four knuckles on the top of their hand Here the students are learning half and whole rest for the first time. 